the last decade, the UAE has proven itself to be a playground for architects and designers willing to push the limit. Now in the land of the world's tallest and biggest structures come these. Abu Dhabi's Al Bahar Towers may not set any records for being the tallest. Each one stands at just 145 meters or 25 floors. But what they lack in height, they make up for in a philosophical approach to architecture. The inspiration for the towers uh, from the formal design side really came from Islamic tradition in art and architecture. Looking at the circle and rotational objects and the circle of life within nature. The unique honeycomb facade represents more than just philosophy. They also have a practical application that helped give these buildings a leadership in energy and environmental design or lead rating of silver, making the Al Bahar Towers among the first buildings in the Gulf region to be awarded the environment friendly rating. The 2000 panels that cover each building were inspired by the traditional Islamic mashrabiya, a wooden lattice screen used to cover windows, providing privacy and shade from the glaring sun. Mashrabiya is, is a very traditional um, solution to the problem of, of uh, solar control um, in the Middle East, um, but it is static. We only wanted the mashrabiya to be in place when the sun was actually shining on it, so it needed to be a dynamic solution. These mashrabiya units open and close automatically to prevent direct sunlight from striking the building. Our research and development arm looked at uh, parametrically um, adjusting that design to make it as efficient as possible for the climate in Abu Dhabi. Aragami was one of the tools that we were using when we were developing the design for the Mashrabiya and the research and development guys and the designers were always testing different uh, shapes and forms of the Mashrabiya to make sure they would unfold precisely and all link together. And working in harmony with the building's other green credentials, these sunscreens can limit the amount of CO2 emissions by 1,750 tons a year. Currently we're seeing maybe 50 to 60 percent reduced air conditioning loads required for this building. It means that we're able to use a lighter tint to the glass and that gives us more daylight into the building, makes the building a more pleasant environment on the inside. So even as the heat rises, this is one building that welcomes its place in the sun.